this is our free soak arch right here. This is where we get um, the first lubrication soap on the vehicle. We cover the entire vehicle front and back so that it's properly lubricated for the car wash process. Then what happens is we have our two top brushes that come down and these two brushes hit the entire top surface of the vehicle starting at the front bumper to the top of the hood, top of the roof, and then down the back side of the vehicle. These two brushes, we have our rocker brush and our grill brush. These also get the front of the vehicle. Um, the rocker brushes focus on the sides and on the bottoms by where the wheels are. Uh, the grill brushes, they focus on giving a little bit more pressure on the front side of the vehicle, uh, on the front bumper specifically to get uh, more aggressive bugs and things that are a little bit tougher to get off uh, is what our grill brushes do. This is our, uh, our high pressure arch where we used recycled water uh, to, to spray 1,000 PSI on the vehicle um, at all angles. So we have four corners and then we have two tops uh, along with our wheel blaster unit. So uh, a lot of recycled water at high pressure being put on the vehicle to help get all that stubborn uh, dirt and grime off vehicles. Here we have two sets of wraps. These wraps start at the front of the vehicle, work their way around to the back of the vehicle uh, and on the sides. These are gonna help get more of that grime off the vehicle. We also introduce more lubricant soap uh, there and here to help lubricate the sides of the vehicle for, uh, for, these, uh, for the wraps to properly clean the sides. This is where we use fresh uh, high pressure water to get any remaining uh, soap off the vehicle uh, before it comes into the drying, uh, drying agent area. So this, this is, uh, we use about 500 PSI of, of uh, fresh water um, in this arch on the mirrors as well to get any um, soap and things that have gotten into the mirrors uh, out, of that, out of that area. This is where we apply our waxes and our drying agents. Uh, the waxes are really special mainly because they help give that, that final glossy look and that, that protection to the vehicle um, before it comes into the drying room. Same thing with the drying agents. The drying agent helps uh, get some of that, uh, that water that's still on the vehicle to, uh, to beat up and to get ready for the drying process. Right after the drying agent is applied is the, um, is the spot free rinse. So the spot free rinse goes through a special process so it's super low TDS so that when the dryers blow all the water off, there's no water spots on the vehicle. And then we walk into our drying room here where we have 17 uh, dryers, which is a lot of dryers. Uh, total of 250 horsepower of drying here in this drying room to make sure that there's no water beads left on the vehicle. Thanks so much for coming out today and visiting us here at Drive and Shine and learning all about the car wash process. I really hope to see you guys soon through one of our car washes.